There's no denying social media influencers have taken over the world, with some making more than $10,000 for just one online post. But did you know you don't need millions of followers to make some serious coin? Companies are turning to everyday Aussies, known as micro-influencers, who have a much smaller yet loyal audience. This makes their influence more impactful and, of course, profitable. So how could you start making money now with just a handful of followers? Joining us now is Everything You Need to Know, CEO and founder of Social Soup, Sharon Smith, great to have you with us. So firstly, how exactly does micro-influencing work? Well, a micro-influencer is someone, as you mentioned, they've got a smaller following. So they've got somewhere between 1,000 to 10,000 followers. So not we're used to big influencers that we hear out there, but what we mm. probably don't know about is the hundreds of thousands of people that have just a micro-influence. So really, they get involved in, and we can see someone on the screen here, um, they get involved in lots of different campaigns. We've got um, micro-influencers who, who are passionate about beauty, they could be passionate about um, running, they could be passionate about gardening. So normally they have a smaller niche that they right. focus on and really it's about creating content consistently mm. out there and, and doing things that are interesting, entertaining and educating. Mm. So they can be anybody. Do they have to have a certain engagement? Do they have to be doing a certain thing online? It could be anything. It could be you. You could be putting out content about something you're passionate about mm. or it could be about your pet. Right? So it could be not even about you um, or it could be your small business that you're creating content around. So it could be anything really out there because ultimately it's the internet and it's everything. Mm. And any age, it mm. doesn't really matter either as long as you have that passion. How do you monetize it? So the way that you can monetize it is um, you've got to be out there consistently creating content so you can't do it every now and then. Mm -hmm. um, you've got to have that focus, so something that people will come to you about, something you're passionate about. And signing up to platforms like my business, Social Soup, which um, you can sign up and, and that's where we will partner you with brands. So we have a lot of brands that come to us and often brands are looking for many micro-influencers, not just one influencer now. Right. As you mentioned before, we have much greater trust with people um, who are relatable. So yes. people who are just like Real. us. Yeah. yeah. So we're not, brands are looking for people who can have that relatability to their audiences. Mm. Right. So it sounds like any, absolutely anyone can do this. How, yeah. how often do you have to be posting stuff? I'd say regularly, and What's that's right? about consistently showing up. So probably around once a day, I'd say, that you want to be out there. And also the content that's really performing at the moment is video. So mm. you have to be comfortable in creating content that is engaging and, and learning those sorts of basic video mm. skills as well. Okay. That's really good. I love that. The, the decision, I guess, at the very beginning is, do you do it to make money first off or just because it's a passion of yours? I guess oh. you've got to sort that out. Um, Sharon, thank oh. you so much for coming in and shedding a little bit of light on micro-influencing. Mm. Appreciate I it. I feel like we have lots more questions. Yeah, I loads. I'll have you back. Thank you. <laughs>